So I want things to be better between us. I want to have what we did in the past. I want to have the dream, the, the Christmas dream, the Easter dream of a family together. And she's not doing this or she's doing this or I'm not getting what I want in my life. These are questions that Cynthia and I hear all the time in our Great Men Move Mountains forum. Cynthia Cruz is the only woman allowed on this channel for her feminine professional perspective. And my today I wrote, what did you expect? And not in a flippant in your face kind of, well, what did you expect way? It's literally, what did you expect? As Robert Glover would say, and no more Mr. Nice Guy, what covert contracts, maybe unconscious, do you have for other people in your life, anything external? On today's show, we talked about if you have expectations of things out of your control, which is everything external from you, and the, a saying in AA is external expectations are premeditated resentments. You can only control what's going on from within side of you, your mindset, your frame, turning your shoulders in the world, all of the skills that we teach on our daily, the C-Note show, which is 11 a.m. Mountain Time. And I'll give you the link for that here before the end of the video. Cynthia, when a man, let's say, has unknown or unconscious expectations, these covert contracts, and he's sort of blaming and maybe shaming others outside of him or the scenario outside of him for what he doesn't have, what does that feel like for a woman, please? Uh, that that can feel to her like it's kind of a like a no win situation. Um, like no matter what she does, says, acts, or be, um, there's this something out there in the space between the two of you that she's just not quite measuring up on, or is actively frustrating you about or uh, it just seems like things are not meshing well in the space between you. And she can have her own um, unknown or unspoken expectations as well that you're feeling from the other side. Um, but for a woman who does want to do a good job, she wants to do a good job at her work. She wants to be a great mother. She wants to be a wonderful wife. She wants to be a great woman. If she feels like she can never quite achieve something, uh, there can be ways that she kind of pulls away from that because she doesn't want to continue to face a feeling of failure. There are ways that she can feel spiteful and angry about that because she feels like it's unfair. And ultimately, um, her expectations for you will almost get ramped up because she feels like on the other side, um, that she's continually lacking. So she needs to kind of make it up somehow and have some sort of power in the situation. So I want to give you the cherry on top for a second and in a minute here, and I'm going to ask Cynthia actually to help me with this today. I didn't prep her. <laughs> I didn't say this. So what I want to ask here in a second is, well, if things aren't happening the way that he's appreciating in the relationship, right? If there's something he does need to bring up in the relationship, but he doesn't want her to feel like she can never do anything right, which he said the word never a few times, she might feel like she can never do anything right. How might he bring that up around the relationship? So if you consider that for a second. So we're gonna give you that cherry on top here in a second. If you haven't checked out our website, we've got free stuff, a free audio book, a free 10 day program of how to re remove fear from your body, which is the number one cause of divorce is fear, that downward spiral. And also to get, to get the link of our daily show, go to greatmenmovemountains.com and check out our stuff on our website, free stuff. The daily call-in is free. We have small group coaching and one-on-one -on -one coaching as well. You can sign up to give me, have me give you a call for one hour to help you draw a map of where you are and what to do next. Go to greatmenmovemountains.com. So how can the man go to her without her feeling like she can never do anything right and still bring up a concern for the relationship? What would you say? Yeah, well, I think when he creates the frame that it's about the relationship, um, that takes the pressure off of her. Can you say that again? Like, how, how do you mean it's about the relationship? That it's about the space between you two and how your energies are interacting together. Not so much about her or not so much about you. Um, but there's also a really important piece of relationship where 
that you know that she knows that there are times in a in a positive frame space that you guys can sit down and you can talk about how your energies are interacting together um so that is a a sacred space set in time uh so it's not a continual she might just feel all the time like you're always bringing something and she can never win, or you might feel like she's just always bringing something and you can never win. This is like the place of relationship. Nothing is ever going to be the perfect unsqueaky wheel, no. nor should it be. Even the great people in this field who practice relationship day in, day out, and I'll refer to David Data, say, okay, so you move through one block and then guess what? Here comes more. And it's about the growing of two people together, not a she needs to do something better. He needs to do something better so that we can be comfortable. That's not what relationship connection, ever growing, incredible intimacy is ultimately about. Well said. So bringing up about the relationship, the positive space you want to have between the two of you, right? And where you want to go forward together, what you want to create together in that positive way. And then have that sacred space. We call that sacred space Saturday morning coffee or Sunday morning coffee early before the kids get up where there's no other demands going to happen immediately. And, you know, three times out of four, it's supposed to be completely a positive thing, if you will. And maybe one time a month, you're going to bring up the top concern that you have within the relationship and it doesn't need to be prescriptive this is supposed to be a dance this is art this is the art of relationship together but that sacred space where you both can feel free to bring something up and your goal as a man is to potentially bring one thing one thing once a month because otherwise it just feels too much it feels really heavy and all the other times it's more positive or maybe you're just looking out the window at the beautiful mountains here in colorado having coffee saturday morning Thank you so much. Okay, thank you. Go move mountains one step at a time, guys. Subscribe. Want more affection, love, and sex in your marriage? Want less paralyzing fear and rejection? Join us live Monday to Friday, Zoom call, men only, greatmenmovemountains.com forward slash C note, the C note show, free daily call. This I've got to see. It's worth watching, so stay tuned.